Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can create three really cool and modern looking title animations inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look at the first animation. So I'm going to start by dragging in our text plus node. Let's view this and uh, we're going to type in our text. I'm going to type in creative. Then I'm going to change the font. I'm going to use a font called BBAS and I'm going to increase the font size as well. Now I'm going to animate this font by adding a follower to this. Right click in the text field, click on follower, then go to the modifiers tab. I'm going to set the delay to around two for the shading. And we have all these different properties that we can animate. So I'm going to start with the opacity. So let's make sure our playhead is at the very first frame. I'm going to create a keyframe there and set the opacity to zero. Then move forward to 30th frame and set the opacity back to 100. And we'll have this kind of animation going on. Then we are going to add a position property. So let's expand position. Make sure your playhead is at the very first frame. Create a keyframe on offset X, Y. And you'll see that you'll get this path. So let's go back to our follower. And uh, we are just going to make sure that the Y position is set to negative 0.400 or somewhere around there. Then let's go to the 30th frame and set this back to the default value, which is zero. So hit enter. Now, if you take a look at the animation, this is how it is going to look. Now let's go to spline and uh, select all of these properties. I'm going to click on this icon that says zoom to fit. Select these two keyframes. You can also click on this icon that says select all. It will select every keyframe you have there inside this property. I'm going to click on that icon to select all. Hit S to smooth out the animation. Then hit the T key on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values. I'm going to ease that in to 100. Now if you take a look at this animation, this is how it is going to look. Pretty cool, right? Now the next thing we're going to do is add in a small shape in the middle. So we're going to do that by adding a background node. And on this background node, we are going to add a rectangle mask to it. So let's bring this to the left and our text is right over here. So let's take a look at this merge node. And I'm going to go to the rectangle and change the height and the width. Play around with that values. Once you are satisfied with that, then you can just, you can either use the same text node over here, which has the animation already applied to it. Let's copy this and paste it over and let's connect this up like so we take a look at this merged node this is how it is going to look i'm going to go to select the second text and reduce the font size and just make sure that this is within this box over here all right so this is what we will have so far now i'm going to animate this uh, rectangle shape so we're going to start at the 30th frame create a keyframe on width set that to zero and we're going to go to the 60th frame and increase the width somewhere around there so if you take a look at it, this is what we'll get. All right. So now we need to make the this animation smooth as well. So let's go to the spline and do the same thing. Click on this button to say that says zoom to fit. Select all, hit S and then ease that in to 100. All right. That is looking pretty cool. Now we need to make sure that this animation on this second text comes at the 30th frame. So I'm going to select that uh, text node, go to keyframes and we'll just going to expand this. And we have uh, these two keyframes over here. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, let's select these two and move them forward in time. So we we'll just put our playhead at the 30th frame and we're going to make sure our keyframes is going to start from this point over here. So now it's going to look something like that. And now all we need to do is make sure that this text only appears within this box. So you can see that this text right now is outside this box and it's pretty easy. Go to merge to and set the operator to a top. And that way our text will get cropped up inside this box. And that is exactly what we want. So there you have your first animation. Now uh, you can group this together and call this animation one. And now let's create our second animation. So for that, uh, again, we're going to use the text or we can just um, grab this text node that we already animated. We're going to use that again. And let's take a look at this animation. So now from this animation, I want to get rid of the opacity modifier. So again, I'm going to go to modifiers shading and we have the opacity i'm going to right click on it and click on remove follower opacity 
and now all we are left with is this position animation okay so the next thing we're going to do is create that animated line so for that we need a background node and let's merge this up together and on this background node we are going to add a rectangle mask to it if you will this this is how it is going to look I'm going to reduce the size make it thin and i'm going to make sure that i uncheck the solid option over here and increase the border width so um i'm going to also reduce the height i'm going to set this to 0 0.001 and uh, increase the border width maybe something like that and increase the width like so after this what we want to do is create a copy of this rectangle i'm going to hit ctrl c or command c if you are on a mac and command v to paste that in and on this second rectangle node we are going to change the paint mode to multiply now we can animate the position property and create our animated line so let's do that make sure our playhead is at the first frame set a keyframe on center x y and change the position and move it to the left all the way to the left until you see the line completely disappear then go to the 30th frame and bring it back to the default value which is 0.5 so i have an animation like this at the 30th frame we're going to create a keyframe on height and go to the 60th frame and increase the height so i'm going to set this to to around 0.2 0 0.29 looks fine and we have to do the same thing with the rectangle 2 as well for the height we're going to move our playhead to the 30th frame create a keyframe on height go to the 60th frame and set the same value which is 2.9 0 0.29 so let's just do that all right so if we take a look at it we have this animated line and then it turns into a box all right so let's go to spline and um, make all of these keyframes smooth so i'm going to select it select all hit s and then ease that in and do the same thing with other rectangle as well and by the way make sure you turn on the show only selected tool just go to this menu click on it and make sure this show only selected tool is ticked if not then you will see all of these uh, values at once which is kind of scary so if you turn that on it will make your life much easier so let's select that select all of these keyframes zoom to fit select all and hit s and then ease that in so if we take a look at it this is how it is going to look i'm going to go to the text and reduce the size a little like that and maybe i can also change the text to something else now all we need to make sure is that this animation of this text appears at the 30th frame so what you're going to do is exit out of the spline first and make sure you select the text node then go to keyframes and expand it we have the path one displacement select these two keyframes and just make sure that it starts at the 30th frame so now you'll have an animation like this cool now as you can see our text is kind of already visible from the very beginning and we don't want that so what we can do is we can copy this rectangle copy it and select your text node and hit ctrl v to paste that rectangle shape and on this rectangle we are going to select that and turn on the solid option and now you'll see that your text will be visible inside this box all right now we can change the color pretty easy go to background and we can change it to any color that we want we can also change the type to gradient and use a linear gradient on this so i can just pick any color from here and then on the right side we can use something else and if we play this this is how it is going to look that is looking pretty clean now we can group this and call this animation 2 for the final animation again let's add in our text let's view this I'm going to type in hello and I'm going to change the font to bbas increase the font size and I'm going to add in a shape so we are going to add in a background node to our text and if we take a look at it this is how it is going to look let's select our background add in a rectangle mask to it let's move this to the left and I'm going to just reduce the width and the height as well so something like that i'm going to move it to the left right over here and i'm going to animate the shape from left to right and then again from right to left so um let's do that i'm going to select this rectangle make sure playhead is at the very first frame create a keyframe on center x y go up to 30th frame 
change the position and bring it to the right and then let's go to the 60th frame we are going to change the position to the left so let's see how this is going to look we'll play this looks good so we can go to spline and turn it into a smooth animation so let's click on this icon that says zoom to fit so now select all the keyframes so you can select all keyframes by clicking on select all icon hit s to smooth that out and ease it in and this is gonna look weird so i'm gonna undo this i'm gonna go in the middle keyframe i'm gonna select that and just do it manually over here i'm gonna make sure the line is straight i'm gonna stretch that out so just uh, stretch that out to 100 and make sure it is straight you can also hold the option key on the keyboard to you know move it in a straight line so we can do the same thing over here just make it 100 so if we now play this animation this is how it is going to look now we need to add another text so i'm going to copy this text over here and paste it down below let's merge this up and on this second text we can type in world all right so the next step is to make this line reveal the text as you can see the text is already revealed from the very beginning and we don't want that so i'm going to select our first text node which is at the top i'm going to add a rectangle mask to this so let's add that and i'm going to make sure that it is placed the right edge of this shape is placed on this black shape over here and after that we're going to just animate the shape itself so i'm going to create a keyframe on center x and y let's go to the 30th frame where our keyframe is so just bring that right edge of the shape on top of this black shape and go to the 60th frame and just bring it back i'm going to go to spline and do the same thing we are just going to zoom to fit and select all hit s to smooth that out and select the one in the middle just make it straight and hold the option key and just drag it out to the left make it 100 and do the same thing over here as well make it 100 so if we take a look at it this is how it is going to look I'm going to apply the mask to our second text node as well. So select that second text node and apply a rectangle mask to it. And if we take a look at this, so we have an animation like that. And on the rectangle five, we are going to start at the 30th frame and just change the position. We're going to put the left edge of this rectangle shape on the black shape over here because we are at the 30th frame. The black shape is on the right side. We're going to create a keyframe go to the 60th frame and bring it to the left like so and then we just go to spline and make it smooth so select all hit s and then ease that in so now if we take a look at it hopefully it should work perfectly which it does we have our first word and then the second word now you can do all sorts of stuff you can go to text and uh, change the color and change the color of the line maybe we can make it yellow yeah there we have it so this is our second text you can also enable motion blur if you want so uh, we can select the rectangle itself which is being animated go to settings turn on motion blur and you can play with the quality and if you go in the middle make sure your motion blur is enabled if you right click in this field over here motion blur and you can just kind of zoom in and see if it's working perfectly fine which it does so let's take a look at the animation with motion blur enabled yeah there you have it so uh that's just about it you can just group this and call it animation 3 all right so then what i like to do is i also add a glow to it so if i add a glow and view this this is how it's gonna look i can just go to glow and increase the glow size and reduce the glow amount and i can just connect this up with the media out and see how that looks so there is your animation in the edit page and let's um, disconnect this and connect this up and have another animation over here uh, that is pretty much it that's how you can create these three modern looking title animations inside davinci resolve if this video was helpful, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.